How to make an iMovie with this little guy coming up next. What's going on guys? Everybody has these devices and we have the power to create such cool videos at our fingertips. Um, iMovie is a great software for beginning video creators. So you definitely want to check out this video and this tutorial on how to make really cool videos with iMovie on your phone. So what's cool about iMovie on the phone is you can make videos from anywhere. You can literally capture such cool video with these iPhones and then you could literally upload it within minutes. It's a really cool kind of concept. There's other apps, sure, that do software, but iMovie is very good for beginners. Um, one quick note about iMovie, it's not cloud-based. Whatever's on your phone doesn't transfer to your iPad or your desktop version of iMovie. So keep that in mind. Whatever's on the phone stays on the phone. So like a lot of phone apps with software, there are limitations. So it doesn't have as many features, bells and whistles as the desktop version. I have a desktop version tutorial in the description below if you're using a MacBook. All right, guys, let's check out the iMovie app on the iPhone. Okay, so this is your main menu in iMovie. So it's very simple. You have three options on the main menu. You can hit the plus symbol and start creating your own video. You can import a video from a file you have in your phone, or it has a help key at the bottom right. So very simple. We have two options, just like an iMovie on the desktop. You have the ability to create a movie or a trailer. So let's check out the trailer real quick. So it's a little bit more limited than the one on the desktop, but you do have some basic trailers that you can choose from. So if you want to create a real short movie or an intro to your YouTube channel or something like that, there's a template and you plug in information and or images. All right, so you have your outline, your storyboard, and the ability to play back your creation. So you can plug in different text to all the different areas and you could completely eliminate it by deleting something. So if there's a, a text area that you don't want any text, you can simply delete it. So let's just do this test is our title. So that'll be the YouTube channel name you'd put in studio name. And there's a couple different intros. You have the colored bar ones. You might've seen the dandelions. You have Galaxy, which is the one I just showed you, Street Lamp, or Trees. So there's a couple different options for this one. Um, and you can update all the credits if you want to do the movie credit kind of thing. You can put information there if you choose. Storyboard is where all this information is going to be put in the trailer. So where these gray default pictures are is where you're going to put real videos or real pictures. and. We do that by clicking and we can access our movies. So we'll just click something. So I'm just adding a bunch of pictures and we can test it out. So again, you can adjust all that text as you want. All it does is put the template in for the transitions and So that is the trailer feature. Let's go back out to our projects. Let's create a movie. So there's three main forms of media that you can upload into iMovie. You have your audio and you have photos and video. So everything on your computer, you can pretty much upload into your movie. I'm going to upload some media. Quick note, if you want your videos or your images in a particular order, you need to click them in the order you want them in your timeline. So be careful about how you click. So let's say I want this first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Okay. Then in the bottom, it tells me how long my video would be and how many items. So create movie. Okay. So once you've uploaded your media into your movie, this is your timeline. This is where all the editing is going to take place. So it's a very simple kind of user face. When you want to know how long your movie is, you have to scroll all the way to the right and that tells you how long it is. So as you can see, it's 59.9 seconds right now. If you want to know how long an individual video or a, a image is, you simply click on it and to the top, you see the 5.3 seconds. This one is four seconds. Let's take a look at this video. This video is 20.4 seconds. 
So when editing your timeline, you can zoom in or out. So if you want to splice a particular point in your video and you need to be more precise, you're gonna to wanna to zoom into your timeline. So you do that by taking two of your fingers and moving from inside out, and that will extend your timeline. See how the pictures are all getting bigger? The video is no longer than it was. So he's still a minute and three seconds. However, I can splice a little easier now versus if I want to shrink down the timeline, I go from outside in and then I could go and navigate a little easier. So it really depends on what you're doing with the timeline, but um, I like to shrink it down if I want to move an image. And by moving an image, you simply click it until it pops up and then you can move it to the right or to the left, wherever you want. Let's say I want it here. Just put it there. So now that image has moved. Very simple. All of your individual media and in between you have these little boxes. Those are transitions. So the transitions are basically a blend from one image or video to another. So you have only a couple options on the phone. On the desktop version, you have a couple more transition options. Dissolve. The slide one. Let's do wipe. So you get the idea with the transitions. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna go over is how to edit pictures. So if it's a still picture, you can add a little bit of visual element by doing the Ken Burns enabling. So I can stretch out the picture and make it longer. As you can see, my video gets longer as I make this picture longer. You cannot extend videos, however, you can shorten them picture and I can adjust it to the starting position. Let's say I want it to zoom in. So I click where it's going to end and I'm going to zoom in. Let's see how this looks. So as you can see, the picture zooming in almost like it's alive, but it's just a still photo. So it adds a little bit of a cool effect to your iMovie. Now looking at editing a video, this video is 23 seconds long. Like I said before, I cannot extend this. I can't make a video longer than it is. However, I can shrink it down and splice it. So wherever this white cursor is, you can split by just simply hitting split. And I can delete sections if I so choose. Now, if I realize I made a mistake, I can salvage the video by dragging it back out again. You also can play around with the speed of the picture. So if I want it to be very fast, I move it to the right like a bunny rabbit. Let's see. There's a green screen example for the video. See how fast it goes? And if I want it to be very slow, it moves very slow as you can see. You also have freeze frame. So it kind of gives a little effect where it pauses. And you can do individual filters for individual pictures or videos. So let's say we want vintage for this one. This is a green screen. So that's a cool effect right there. So it makes everything orange. All right, adding a media to an existing timeline is very easy as well. You find where you want to put the media and you line the white cursor up and you hit the plus symbol and you go and access whatever media you want to add. and it goes right in. So you also have an undo feature so that you can backtrack out of any edits you made a mistake on. So let's say I like drag this picture out a little bit too far. I can just hit the undo and it goes back to where it was before that. So the bottom right is overall project settings. You can add an overall filter to the images or the videos. So that would make the entire video with this cool sort of red and yellow Laker filter. Let's see what else they got. If I want to make it sort of black and white, a little old school, see how it's got that cool sort of special effect. Makes it look very retro. There's also a couple other features when adding photos you have to do when you upload them. And this is one of the pains with Apple iMovie on the phone. You have to know this little trick. So when I click on the image I want to upload, there's the three dot menu. So I can do a cutaway, which is kind of where it just goes from one image to another. Picture in picture, let's see how that looks. So picture in picture can be good for videos and like gaming, things like that. 
you can click on it and move it if you want and you can resize it you can make it bigger or smaller for picture in picture another feature when adding images is the split screen so another useful feature right there another really cool feature is the green screen so you simply click on something that's been recorded where the background is very dark either green or blue and you click it hit the three dots again and go to green slash blue screen so as you can see I have the blue screen effect I have the background below and I have the surface being the one thing I want cropped so those are a couple cool features it has all right so if you want to add text to different images or videos you simply click on the image and then you hit the T now it doesn't have as many titles or text options as the desktop version but it does the job with basic features so you can play around with different text and to edit them you click up where the image is and the text box should allow you to edit in there so test shows up another thing you can do is add audio and the the phone version of iMovie has a much bigger audio collection although you have to find it if you want to download from your iTunes you can hit my music the sound effects are basic things like bell towers barking dogs those kind of things the soundtracks you have quite a few different songs that you can use that are all royalty free there's no copyrights to any of these and you can put these into your video so let's test one out and it adds my audio to the bottom so I can have a little song going with the video and if I want to splice the the audio I can do that as well so let's say I want the song to start here I can split it right there and if I want to mute this part, I simply click and then I drag the cursor all the way down. If I want to fade the music in, I can also do that. I click fade and you can kind of play around with it. So when I fade the music, it naturally goes down before the next one starts. And I can do it the same here. So, so it'll gradually lower in volume and it'll gradually rise in volume. That's something so it doesn't go from one crazy extreme sound to another so it blends the music a little bit so you have some cool options with the audio as well always adjust the audio volume you know to the video that you have okay guys i hope you found this video informative so get creating some cool videos we'll see you guys next time